Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, I'm Chief Sweet. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use a thermostat with a heat mat. This question is asked very often in uh, my YouTube videos, and I don't really use heat mats at all, to be honest with you, but I do have them, and I have used them in emergencies, and I'm gonna teach you exactly how to use this with this. Even if you don't have one of these, you have one of these that you have to tape on yourself. I'm gonna teach it all. Let's get into the video, shall we? Starting off, first thing you wanna do is install your heat mat. This is very easy. There's only really two types, one with an adhesive and one that you have to tape on yourself. For the adhesive kind of heat mats, you're gonna have to take off the part that's protecting the adhesive. Usually it's just like a white giant band-aid looking thing. You peel it off and you slap it on the bottom of the enclosure. For the non-adhesive kind, I like to use duct tape. It's also very important to put it on one side of the tank so you have a cool side and a hot side. Now I know this heat mat in the video is very large, but it's just to show you how I do it. A good rule of thumb is you don't want the heat mat to take up more than 50% of the tank. Also for people who do not know this, heat mats, most heat mats, reptile ones, will come with a little rubber feet to lift up a tank or an aquarium. So that way it allows for ventilation underneath. You need ventilation underneath when applying a heat mat, otherwise it can cause a fire because it's just gonna trap all that heat underneath there and it might not register coming through on the probe and it just becomes like a giant oven. But most reptile tanks like this Exoterra here, as you can see, has a gap for ventilation, but make sure to check and see if yours does because like this tank right next to it, it's just a 10 gallon fish tank. It does not have any ventilation. And if you were to apply a heat mat to a tank like this that had a reptile in it, it would just trap heat underneath and it could be a fire hazard. Now it's time to get the thermostat. When looking at the thermostat, you see it has a plug-in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plug the heat mat into that plug-in. Next up, get the metal probe that is connected to the thermostat as well and put this inside of the tank. I usually put this right above the heat map and tape it into place. This metal probe is gonna tell the thermostat what temperature it is around the probe, which is why I put it directly on top of the heat mat so it doesn't get too hot. Because unregulated heat mats can get extremely hot. They can get to temps of up to 150 degrees, which if you didn't know can burn or even kill your reptiles. And the reason I tape it is so that way it doesn't get knocked off if the reptile's moving stuff around or just gets on the cord. It can keep it there and you don't risk it being overheated from it getting pulled out from that location. And once that's done, you can plug it directly into the wall. Once plugged in, you start to see the lights come on. Now, most thermostats usually have a set button and adjustment buttons. Now this model, and I think a lot of other models as well, yours could be different, but to set the temperature, you wanna hold down the set button until it starts blinking. Once it starts blinking, then you can go up or down to get the desired temperature. After finding the desired temperature that you want, you can go ahead and hold the button down again, and once it switches back from blinking to not blinking, you're ready. So once the probe reads the temperature you set, the heat mount will turn off and stop heating, and it'll kick back on once it falls below that desired temp as well, therefore keeping it set to the desired temp 24-7. That's all it takes to set up a thermostat connected to the heat mat. Now you can also do this for a heat lamp as well. This works almost the exact same way. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna get the heat lamp and you're gonna plug it into the thermostat, do the same thing. You go ahead and hold down the set button, adjust it to where you want to, but the metal probe is gonna be just a tad bit different. Now, if you have a hide and say if you have a snake, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the probe inside of the hide. And I usually tape mine on the top of the hide so that way I know what temperature it is inside the hide. Or you can lay it around a rock. Say if you have a rock that's gonna get really hot, you can lay it beside the rock. Or some people actually look, like to put it directly on top of the rock. And that could lead to problems because if your lizard is on top of the probe, it's not gonna be reading the correct temperatures and it's not gonna shut off at an appropriate temperature. And that could honestly burn your lizard. So I like to put it like around the rock, not on the rock, because most of the time the lizard's gonna be on top of the rock or around it, and you're not gonna get a great reading from that. And if you don't like the sudden turning off of a heat lamp from a thermostat like this, there's also other types of thermostats made for heat lamps that dim like this one right here. I will have this linked in the description. I love this type of dimmer um, or a thermostat. It is a dimmer, but it's a, I love this type of thermostat for heat bulbs instead of the kind that I'm showing you in this video because the kind I'm showing you in the video will just turn off the heat lamp. And a lot of people do use that, but I just hate how it just clicks off the lamp. I like how, it, I love this one because it just dims it and it's, Really awesome. But that's how you use a thermostat for a heat mat and a heat lamp. Now I will say it is always important to check the desired temps, especially if you're using substrate. I like really thick substrate layers and it's also why I do not use heat mats myself. I use heat lamps because I just cannot, it's just so hard to use a heat mat, especially I'm someone who loves substrate. The heat, that it, 
takes for the heat mat to like travel through the substrate just doesn't work for me. So remember it, always check. It's a lot of times some people will put the probe on top of the substrate. So it heats up the substrate a lot. And that way it, the appropriate temperature on top of the substrate is with the desired temps. However, if you have a burrowing species, which includes leopard geckos, if they burrow down, it could be so hot in that substrate that it just cooks them. So remember that as well is there is going to be some heat loss if you have substrate or something else. That's all I have for the thermostat. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.